the main event in Corican Hall for Noah's N1 Victory Tournament on August 10th, 2024, was a big one, literally. Yoshiki Inamura took on El Hijo del Dr. Wagner Jr. in a 21-minute match of two men, two heavyweights, first of all, trying to wear each other down. So some of you are going to say, oh, that match was kind of slow. Yes, two gigantic men aren't going to run around and fly around the ring like cruiserweights, nor should they. So the first part of this match were both men grabbing holds and trying to make the other submit arm bars, leg locks, whatever you could. They were trying to take each other out with body blocks. They were fighting inside and outside the ring. They were diving through the ropes, both men, and especially the Aztec warrior, the former GHC heavyweight champion, Dr. Wagner Jr., I mean, this man defeated Keno for that title. You have to remember that. Mark and Stu put that over on commentary numerous times, just reminding us how good Dr. Wagner Jr. is. Inamura has been trying to reach the top of the NOAA roster for a couple of years now, unsuccessfully. He's been far from being a jobber, but he just can't break through. He lost his first match in the N1 tournament against Alka Sasaki. Had me even thinking, oh, geez, here we go again. Inamura not going to do great again, but he won his next match, and yes, he won this. Spoiler, we're only a minute and a half into this discussion, but I'm telling you, I was very pleasantly surprised that Inamura pinned the former GHC champion Wagner Jr., who is excellent in and of his own rights. Um, I find it a little corny to match mask move where he twists his head around and supposedly gets powers from the mask or something. It's motivation. It's not really powers like, you know, the Wyatts in the WWE or something. I think it's a little bit of a cornball move, but it works for him. And I, I look, I see the improvement in Wagner Jr. I was shocked when I found out he won the GHC Jr. Uh, not Jr., but of course he's gigantic. When he won the GHC Heavyweight Championship from Keno back when I wasn't I was following, but not faithfully watching Noah. I was amazed at that. I mean, Wagner Jr. is good, but I didn't see him on that level. But boy, watching him in this match, I definitely saw it. And I definitely saw the improvement of Inamura. Both these guys took a beating from one another in the second half of the match, turned it up, and, and didn't wrestle like the juniors. But this was a much faster pace because both men were realizing that their methodical pace, their fighting, their, their grappling wasn't going to get the job done. And... Um, one of them would have to subdue the other one in another way. So they started more with the slams. They started more with the dives. They started more with the superplexes, brain busters, they call them in Japan. I mean, at one point, Wagner Jr. hit a superplex off the rope, and Inamura immediately picked him up in a suplex, and both men seem, looked, felt completely rocked. But that was the part, that was the time where the match really started to feel like it was soon going to end and it would come down to which guy could hit the other with a move that would take the breath out of the other to hold him down for one, two, three. And it was in a mural with a gigantic power slam as Dr. Wagner Jr. charged him and got caught in it and got put through the mat almost literally in this amazing big man meat, slapping meat, they say, although I think that's corny as hell, matchup. Your winner, like I said, Yoshiki in a mural two in a row after losing his first match. He is on fire. He has put the world of Noah on notice, defeating the former national champion, defeating the former heavyweight champion. Inamura has arrived. He's at the top of the card or storming his way there. And this was a match that showed you that and didn't hurt Wagner Jr. in any way. He is still a beast. He is still the Aztec warrior. This was a terrific way to end this show. Another, I don't know, I'd give this 9 out of 10. Very solidly worked show. Very enjoyable. I can't wait to get home from work and watch these shows. I stay up late and get little sleep to go into work watching these shows because Noah is wrestling done right. I am Noah, and this is Mount Ararat Podcast. I'm Adam Lavelle of WrestlingDoneRight.com, the wrestling snob, and I'll be back with more coverage before you know it. I appreciate your support. Please subscribe to the YouTube.